All right, so what's up, guys, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It's pretty safe to say that we've had a good amount of crazy episodes in the past within this story, but the last episode, I think, honestly, took the cake. As far as, like, reveals and, you know, like, just story, the last episode was pretty significant. So just in case you guys stumbled upon this video and you haven't seen the last episode, I'm not going to spoil it. But uh, there was a major character in the story that uh, went sour and some people died. Important characters died or an important character died. And uh, we are now back from, wait for it, Shiropetshire. Shiropetshire. We're back, okay, from one of the uh, lands of England, if you will, within Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, we had to do some things that we didn't want to do. We do now have allies over there in Sheropshire, or what, what have you. But we're back reporting to Ronvi, our beloved lover. In which one day I will just dump her ass because he's pissing me off. You want to know why? Because all she does is stand here in this freaking table. You, well, come here, baby, and give me some sugar. We are allied with Sheropshire, <laughs> but at a grievous cost. Young Chelbet was killed. You just spoiled yes, it. Yes, my scouts told me. Such a tragic death for so dubious a gain. I hope you paid his killers back in kind. Justice was done. Chelbet will be remembered. He was good company in the short time he was with us. He was. Now remember, he lived with us too. He lived here. And I guess he spoiled it for you guys, so I'm sorry. You can't dislike this video. You gotta, you just gotta dislike Avor. So, anyways, um, I think. By the way, the colors in this video might be a little bit more poppy, because I'm trying a, a different setting in the Elgato. Maybe, hopefully, it makes the the video look better. It's only working on the Xbox right now, not on the PS5. I don't know why, but uh, you you let me know. So, show me the Alliance map first. Kiss me. Come to me. Come to me. That's right. Grr. Okay, that was enough. Okay, feeling awkward now. Talk to me now. Show me the map. To see the alliance map. <laughs> All right, so here we have um I can't do this one? Oh, that's a level 120. What the hell? Mm. Oh, 130. We could probably do this. That sounds interesting. Yeah. Tell me more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned. But if he has found the paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. Hmm. I, I feel like it's the right one to do at the moment because... It's called, it's pronounced Kent, by the way, not sense. I will go as soon as I can. Good. Be safe, Favor. So that's how you probably, you probably pronounce sent back in the day. So I guess we could call 50 cent. 50 Kent. No? Dag, Basim has brought word of Seeker's location. We're leaving at once to find him. Well done, Eivor. After so long, it finally occurs to you to search for our Jarl. I applaud your half-hearted effort, but I will not be joining you. Dag, this is no joke. On the ship, now. Someone needs to stay home and direct the affairs of the settlement. As you seem to shun this place as often as possible, it must fall to me. Ah, uh, I don't want to abandon this area, but what if we need him? If you wish to stay, so be it. But when Sigurd is back among us, we'll see what status you have among the raiders. Say whatever makes you feel superior, Eivor. I know Sigurd will understand my decision. Do you doubt me so completely that you will not raise an axe to save your y'all? A fine way of putting it, wolf kissed. But go, find the Jarl, bring him back. Only do not get lost along the way, as you seem to more and more these days. This is not done, Dag. We will speak when I return. Yeah, I don't want to force him to do anything he didn't want to do, you know? So. 
I guess. Find and speak to Basm. Ooh. If you have a moment to spare. Basm. Whoa, he is far. Oh. Well, obviously we're going to Kent. All right, guys, we have arrived at Kent. Well, we're in the Kent region, if you will, but you know, we're in St. Hadrian's Priory. So Basm should be here. I guess we can look for him inside this church, possibly. Did not Augustine make a distinction between oh, faith he's right here. What I mean to say is faith is paramount. Like the hair, dude. Yes. For without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? From the original sin of Adam and Eve. Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists because he gave us free will. Does a newborn babe slain by a despot have free will? Yes. No, I mean, that is too simplistic. Or the priest whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf. Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene. Uh, some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, brother Hawkbert? You question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? A preposterous blasphemy. No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> brother Cedric... Am I not the most pious of his servants? Out! Out! <laughs> the hell? Making new friends? <laughs> a person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor. And I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. Hmm. What happened in Mercia still puzzles me. Fulke saw something in Sigurd. A power, a legacy. What is it she wants? Her motives are difficult to fathom, but that can come later. Let's find your brother first. Agreed. If we do this, you'll earn the right to call me friend ten thousand fold. So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us, she can carry herself as one of them. She won't hide from everyone. Not with a prisoner in tow. So, where to begin? I've made a friend. Abbot Cunibert. Full of pious fire. But with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Cunibert know? Come, I will introduce you, and we'll hear the full tale together. It seems to be like a, a really... Oh, the instrument of the ancients. It seems to be a really small town, which might be uh, a Have little bit of a shorter mission. you peace in your time alone, Basim? I am always at peace, and never alone. I move among the people of the world with great joy. I watch them, study them, learn from them at all times. This is our duty. The Hidden One's calling. You know, for the first time since we've met, you sound more like you're a princess than yourself. <laughs> Surely Hytham sounds like me, if I have taught him well. Your creed and your tenets, you mean? That's right. And our sense of, how should I say, deep responsibility to the betterment of mankind. That's quite an ambition. But it doesn't explain what you see in Sigurd. My brother is not so generous. Ah, but your brother is someone special, important, and I want him to see that. Hmm. I hope to show it to him. Is this not a blessed plot? God's own country. And this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert, this is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Basim says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. Very pleasant woman. And where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. 
Where's the paladin? Uh... If you know where Fulki is, do not rattle my bucket. Tell me now, and we'll talk terms later. The hot-tempered one stirs up strife, Basim. Will this rebellion cake Dane do what I ask? Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our elderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement, but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which Thane has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. To woo him. Before his exalted position is made public and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The king's emissary. Sent with a letter of congratulations to the new elderman. Intercept him and bring me the news. When I know the thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor. Hmm. Why not? Your king will not be happy. His church meddling in his politics. Does this not delight you, Eivor? A chance to defy Alfred. I am God's humble shepherd, sent to protect his lambs. If Kent's new elderman is a wolf, I would blunt his claws. This emissary, how will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the king's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll get the elderman's name. You find Fulke. All in good time. Now, if we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falkenstone has the best fish in Wessex. Then I will find you there when the elderman's name is mine. Hmm. Cunibert is ambitious, but well connected. We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you at Falkenstein. Interesting. Okay, so reach the Tonbridge Inn. So we have a fast travel point here, which I'm obviously going to go ahead and get because we are going to have to be coming back over here. And now we know <clears throat> that King Alfred is king of this land. Okay. Makes sense. Because when we first got introduced to him, we didn't really know what, what region he was king to, so. And a sink up here. I still don't know, by the way, how long this game really is. Just so you know, I don't know. I think you still got a good way to go, so you guys are gonna have to buckle up with me and uh, join me for the ride. Do not. Not abandon me now, damn it. We're too far into this. Doesn't look like this area is friendly. At least not that area over there. That is destined for a raid. I see. But anyways, we're here. Alfred's emissary spent a few days here. Someone may know where he went. I'm in no mood for wind belching, so choose your words well. Man of wits, you choose your words. Uh, you choose your words well. <laughs> the emissary, what did you know? Man I of heard wits. The king's men came through here, cast a stir. A man of your wit noticed them, I bet. I am witty. Finally, someone sees. I'm always telling the wife, but will she listen? <laughs> she bollocks. Alfred's emissary. Where? Him and the bard ended up in a copse by the bridge doing Lord knows what. Sounded like they were murdering a cat. Singing? If you say so. Hmm. Okay, so we need to get... We need to get the other guy talking, but... Again, this is locked. I don't know if we can... Can we break this? No. There's gotta be another way in there. Let me see if one of these guys can... Oh, hold on. This guy here. You tried to catch flies? Or would you ask something of me? I'm looking for a man. He passed through here on the king's business. Oh, bugger off here, or I'll call the guards. I'm sick of people. You need to heal your own ills. Hmm. 
Let me just pay Maybe him, dude. Maybe some coin will lose your lips. A wise move, Mudwit. It so happens I did see Alfred's man. He's long gone, though. Maybe Gowan the Bard knows where. Where will I find him? Well, he was pissed as a newt. Last I saw, he was passed out in trees between the arbor and bridge. Well, now go find someone else to vex. There was a bard drinking with the emissary. I should find him. See if he knows anything. Find and speak to the bard. Okay, so the bard will be Have a look soon in. over there. Straight ahead. Come on, wolf. Let's go. That ale swamp scarf can't have gone far. This is such a good uh, skill to have. Make your mounts swim. It is so useful, dude. And uh, look at him here under the bridge. <laughs> oh, before I wake his ass up, let me let me rob him. You there? You alive? <laughs> Patience is a tired horse. Plod de deep plod plod. Another tottering teat sucker who can't hold his drink. Let's clear your head. I would love to uh, compose a great work to harness their beauty. Keep now the largest would provide the anchor of the peace, the harmonious controlling of the smaller bells and what okay. Not important. Ooh, moldy cheese. Right, well, where are we taking this bum? This guy, bro. Who gets drunk and stays under the bridge? Sober this man up. Ah. <laughs> We're gonna throw his ass in the lake. Truth, fire on you. Oh, what are you fed or wakes me? Are you the bard? It's not matter who I am. Are, are you, you the, the tail weaver? Gowan the dandelion. The seeds of my stories flit upon the winds of Wessex. But why, mule, do you kick my noggin? You and Alfred's emissary were drinking in the tavern. Tell me where he went. Were we? I was so ale addled. Perhaps a small and silver thing upon my palm might help me recall. How about something long and sharp? How about something long and sharp in your gut? All right, no need for that. You paint a vivid picture, Dane. He was headed to the white coast to the southeast, Dover Fortress. He said it is where they train those religious fanatics, zealots. They pray all night instead of sleeping. My thanks. And in return, wisdom. Too much beer bibing will grow a fool in wit and words. My thanks, weaver of the obvious. Now leave me to my unholy punishment. My unholy punishment. Find and get the message. The emissary carries the messages. The emissary made for Dover Fortress on the southeast coast. Things are actually looking pretty interesting as we are at the Dover. tip. The emissary is somewhere here. Perhaps I can find the letter without bloodshed. The Bard said paladins trained at this fortress. This will not be an easy fight. Okay, guys, hold on. This is going to be... Uh... This is going to be quite the task. Okay, let's see where we can find this. It's got to be somewhere here then. But there are guards and we are not allowed in here. We've this got to be... Is heavily guarded. Exactly. So I'm going to cloak up. Cloak up just in case. You know what? We can go this way. Nice. Thank you. Show me. He's got to be in there. There's no way. He's got to be in there. I'm going to go around here. Oh my god, dude. I thought I got discovered. What the frick? Okay, good. A broken bow. 
No, I, I don't want camera mode. Jesus Christ. I need to disable that crap. I always go on to it. Or, wait, into it. It might be a little... Must be blocked from the other side. I think they're curious because they probably found a dead body. Yep. They found the dead body, dude. See my eyes, Sudan. <gasps> All right, it's got to be in here, right? Not in here. Okay. Where the heck is this guy, bro? Could that be him? If I could steal the letter without killing the emissary, it would keep me out of trouble. King Alfred's orders. Alfred Rex of the West Saxons to appoint. Oh my God! <laughs> Alfred's chosen elder is a thane called Tetmund. The Abbot Cunibert will want to know. Oh my God! <laughs> Assassin Steve. Meet Bassam and the Abbot in Falkenstein. Oh my God! We actually got the letter. Oh God! All right, so I'm just going to get out of here. It would have really benefited me as well to kill him because it would have probably been a decent amount of... Uh, maybe not. Maybe... Eh, never mind. Oh, wow. Look at this little village here. Very nice. Ooh. Very nice. Falkenstein. Is that how you say it? Falkenstein. <laughs> I like this. Very beachy. Really like it. Oh, you must try my you... Eivor, you have news? Oh, Kent's yeah. new elderman will be Thane Tedmund. Tedmund? Oh, the Lord is testing me. He is made mouse by you Danes. Barely leaves his fortress at Rue Sister. How might I gain his influence if he will not speak to me? Or to anyone? It is a puzzle. To inspire loyalty, Tetman must owe you something, such as his life. Go on. A fortress stormed, a man kidnapped. If you beat back his enemy, saved him from sure death, his gratitude would... Swell. It would know no bounds. But that fortress will be harder to pry open than a nun's knees. Perhaps. Perhaps not. What do you know, Basim? We could kidnap someone close to him. Are you hiding something, Basim? There is a lumber mill nearby, correct? Bemisfield. Alfred invests much in fortifying Wessex and uses our forests to do so. The mill provides his wood. Tedmund is there. Impossible! How do you know? I heard rumors that Tedman had been lured out of self-exile to manage work on the fortifications of Canterbury. Taking him from a lumber yard is less dangerous than assaulting a fortress. But your rescue attempt will not have the same flair. Is it worth it? It may still work. Yes. Yes. Bring him to the megaliths. Hmm. And Fulke? When I have Tedman's fealty, you shall have Fulke. Now go. I will rustle up a small rescue party. I do a roaring trade at Reculver and Chunbridge. Pay well for my catch. The monks? Do those parchment skinned Christians ever eat meat? Alright, so we'll just follow Basim. I don't know where he's gonna take us, but. I'm assuming to the horses. The characters run so funny here, like the NPCs. I'm wary of this Abbot Basim. He is self-serving and evasive. Can he really deliver Fulke? The abbot is a friend of Fulke's. That is clear. 
So long as it doesn't suspect our motive, we may have a chance. Indeed. This brings to mind a story. Perhaps you've heard of it. The Scorpion and the Frog. A children's story? A cautionary tale. The Scorpion wants to cross the river, but he cannot swim. So he enlists the help of the Frog. The Frog agrees to carry him on his back, extracting a promise that the Scorpion will not sting him. Let me guess. The Scorpion reneges, blaming his nature, and both drown. But the Scorpion crosses the river and stings an innocent man, killing him. So what does this tale tell us? That your stories are clouded and their meaning doubly so? It shows that every tale has a thousand possible outcomes, many of which are surprising. If the abbot does not deliver Volke, he will die at my hand. And we will continue our search. A sobering approach. Okay, I like it. I like it, Basm. I like it. Bemisfield is just ahead. Lead. I will follow. Oh, what you get off the horse for? What? I hope this chase will catch us a plump hen. All right, let's go on foot. has Tedman's gratitude. He will deliver full care. It will cost us nothing more than this. If that leaden wit keeps his word. All right, let's see here. Aid me. Be my eyes. All right, straight ahead. I wonder if it's hostile territory. It doesn't look like it. I think we should be okay. I shouldn't be seen here. Or not. Could you, work? you prefer to work in the shadows. Hmm. Maybe we should take this guy out. Basm, what do you think? Oh, hold on, Basm. There's somebody coming here, man. Oof. All right, where's this guy? Cast about this lamp, my friend. There it is. That's the guy. bound to fall eventually right oh please shut up okay so we've got basm over there fighting the guys while this guy over here is running for his life <laughs> can you swim oh he can swim all right no he can't okay either you stop or i put an axe on your forehead What's it gonna be, partner? Okay, what the frick? Come on. Find and kidnap. Do something. Tie up. There we go. Stop caterwauling and you'll live. Live? Oh, saints protect me! Silence will save you, Tedmund. Silence, not your saints. <laughs> Alright, so I guess yeah. return or carry Tedman. Do we have to return to Basm or no? I would have I liked to uh, kind of go on a little bit of an all-out war there. But honestly, I'm trying to do yeah. this a uh, little bit different today. I'm trying to be a little bit uh, less aggressive with my approaches, man. Even though I just had that badass double back-to-back -back assassination. Yeah! Hopefully Basm's alive. Of course he's alive. What am I saying? Too bad I left him back there. Oh, look. How cool. 
Okay, Flee, so... my friend. Oh. We have the man we came for. Does this venture not set your blood ablaze? You don't prefer working in the shadows? And so we have. To steal a man, take him with swiftness, and escape without anyone on our heels. We hide in plain sight. Such is our way. But only until the moment of success, the final strike. I prefer to act and speak plain. Kings and lords who do not are often misunderstood. Yet, as a leader yourself, you cannot deny that subtlety and intrigue are a cloak you must wear. How many of your clan know the true circumstances of Sigurd's absence? Hmm. You see my point. A leader must know when to speak and when to stay silent. For silence is not always a lie. It can feel like one. You truly embrace the concept of hiding in plain sight, eh? To its very fullest. As I do in everything. Okay, so what are we doing now? <laughs> really? Halt, Danes! In the name of Alfred, King of Wessex, I demand you release his royal subject <gasps> into my care. Come no closer, Christian, else your man dies by my blade. Please, I I'm not the man you want. Keep your eye on this one. He'll be worth a hefty bounty. Any false moves and I will snip your heels. We have your man. Now let's finish this shadow play and be gone. Are you sure that's Tedmund? He's dressed as a lord, but... That man is shorter and fatter than I recall. I'm not Tedmund. I, I, I'm not. I, I swear upon the holy rood. I, I am not Thane Tedmund. What in heaven's name is happening here? Who are you? Speak quickly, or I will slit your throat and leave you for the crows. Shergar. I am called Shergar. Lord Tedmund pays me a measly coin to serve as his double. Brother Shergar? You are far from Augustine's priory. Uh, I left the cloisters many moons ago, Your Holiness. The monastic life was not my calling. Wow. We can use you yet, Shergar. Summon Tetman to a meeting. Get him out in the open. Tetman has no care for me or what I have to say. My orders come by letter, never by mouth. I hardly know the man. You have no use to us, then. Perhaps I should just kill you here and now. No, no, wait, 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 wait. wait. Let, let, let me think. Let me think. Danes! To, to storm the walls, you need Danes. Th there's a raiding camp west of here I was told to be wary of. I, acting as Tedmund, I, I ordered a band of soldiers to capture them. If you hurry, you may be able to stop this. If another band of Danes wants to join our assault, we'll have the distraction we need to get inside Rusester. If the Saxons don't slaughter them first... I, I am still Tedmund, the men in the field. I could speak with their captain, send his men away. It's a fearless plan. The Nornia knit winding paths that cannot be unknotted. It seems Rusester was always in our path. Abbot, stay alert. We'll send word when we're ready to capture Tedmund. And this fool? He knows much of our plan. Take him with us, do what you want with him. He'll come with us. And if he betrays me, I'll roast his balls over a roaring fire. You will not regret this. My wily ways and quick wit will cease the need for bloodshed. I still might kill you yet, man. If your prattling doesn't cease. The rewards for being Tedmund are rapidly diminishing. And how does one <laughs> become a double? Are there vigorous challenges and tests to overcome? I was born with the misfortune of looking like someone else. I should have stayed on God's chosen path. What took you from it? I'm the seventh son of a poor farmer. And not wanting another mouth to feed, my father gave me to the monks. The cloistered life did not suit you? I thought there would be great comfort in repetition. But instead I found nothing but prayer and back-breaking toil. The Norns weave strange destinies. Now your life depends on the story you weave for yourself. I am not a good forgery. Still tears bled and my hands sweat and I have a stutter when I'm nervous. But, but, but I will try. <laughs> ah. The cornerstone of all great art. The captain does not know Tedman well. If we keep our heads, he will not question my orders. I hope. I think that's the camp we're headed to. We are too late. There is great horror here. 
Those who remain must be saved, whatever the cost. Wow. Damn, son. He drinks too much and does not need a reason. You die. I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, released them because now they're gonna kill him. Come here, bitch. All right, got this guy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Monstrous. Ow. Oh no, the prisoner's gonna burn. Please don't burn. Okay, we're good. We owe you our lives, friend. These Saxon whore sons would have killed us all. Yes, they would have. And now's your chance to hit back. March with us on Rusester and drain it of riches. I would gladly, friend. But we few will not break those iron-thick walls. And we have no allies in Wessex. None who could be called upon to attack their countrymen. Mercy, I will heed the call. Gidrich will provide our Viking a horde. We'll send a message to Oxenfordshire. The men of Mercia would gladly take a swipe at Wessex. What is your name, warrior? Runa Egelstotter. We need ships, Runa. We have a small fleet moored up river, but a naval chain blocks passage to Rue Sister's walls. I will remove it, and your people will bring their ships. Now, gather these fallen weapons and armor. Gidrich and the men of Oxenfordshire will need them to hide their Mercian origins. My warriors were denied Valhalla today. I cannot bear the idea of gifting their weapons to more Saxons. Their sacrifice was great. Their gift will be all the greater. They will know justice with our victory. It will calm their restless shades, I promise. Will your men bring the armor to the battle? And what is our plan? In the morning, you will go to Buckingham, remind Gidrich of his promise. When you have his bond, Meet me on the shore near Rusesta with the ships. Ah, uh, but Cunibert must be warned in advance. He'll need time to muster his rescue party. Runa, that is your task. I will tell you where to meet him before you leave. All seems in order. At first new light, I will leave. Good. That gives us time to drink. Sir. Ooh. You've traveled so far to carry out your duty. Is this the life of a hidden one? Always on the move? Yeah. Mine is not the usual path. The creed has traveled. Our ideals are universal. We believe that. So there's nowhere you call home? No place I call home. No. Red. For me, home is family. But I have no family. No one? Not even Hytham? Parents, brothers, all dead. I lost my parents when I was nine winters along. Without Sigurd, I would have... I would have... There is always one unbreakable bond. Yes. Children. <laughs> they bewilder you. They can cause you so much worry. Fill you with joy. Even stop your heart. And if you're lucky, they replace you. I was not so lucky. I had a son. I miss him terribly. Even now. Oh. I am sorry. Pass him. He was taken from me. By someone I trusted. A friend. 
a mentor. A man who I would trust with anything. Wow. But a man you trust with anything can take everything. Wow, yo, that's deep. He took all I had. Damn, dude. So they, they just take his son like a kidnapper. They axed him. Oh, man. That was a cool scene. Rue says there will not be an easy nut to crack. Time to prepare. That's a nice little Basm uh, story there. That's a little bit of his backstory. Very, very interesting. I'm going to get some arrows. My quiver. If I do, all right, so let's upgrade Avor. I think we've got four skill points available right now. Yeah, we're gonna need this. So, here we have increases your mastery with hammers. No, here we've got melee critical chance. Uh, what is this? Spear increases your mastery with spears, heavy resistance, assassination damage, ability damage, way of the raven. Explosive core. Hold R in your body to explode the... Man, I don't know. That sounds... Let me try that. And I think we're good. Right, so now we have to head... North. Come here, wolf. Let's do yeah. this. So release the naval chain. That was a really cool cutscene with, uh, with Basm. Really, really enjoyed that. Now the question here is, how do we? I need your eyes, my friend. Okay, we could go through here. We just gotta go around the castle. It seems should be a little rail, up, a rail trail. <laughs> sure. Around here, right? No trail, no. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Wait, can we get there through here? That's the chain. No, never mind. You know what? I'm probably just gonna shut up. Okay, yeah. shut up. Yep. All right, so we're gonna get off here. This is this is quite important here. We need to clear this fort and break this chain to get our ships safely upriver. The mechanism should be inside. Who's got the key? Okay, should we go in all out war or what? What do you guys think? Should we give him an all out war? I think we should. No. Get that let me get that set trap hold on how do we a new ability we just did <laughs> oh my god all right i will kill you then you seem a little bit dangerous Ooh, got parried son Ow! There we go. Oh, it's three times. There we go. Finally, Jesus. I don't know why that gave me so much trouble, but you know what? We don't did it. We don't did it. Now you die. Oh. I see. So we had to do that in order to open up this door. 
Oh, uh, okay. Now it makes sense. There it is. And we've got a fat little chest here that I love so much. More nickel ingots. Perfect. That's a crazy chain though, also like ships can't go through it. That's pretty, pretty insane. Chain down, Gidrich and the ships can get through. Regroup with your allies. All right, so we'll go ahead and get out of here now. All right, we're here. Eivor, we await your orders. So let's you brought get it. your weapons and armor. Aye, Raven Tamer. Good. Now we dig in and wait for our friends. Now we well met, uh, old friend. get ready for when war. The chance to lodge an axe this guy. Of Wessex, you thought of me. Such an honor. Is everything else in place, Eivor? Are we ready to take Rusester? Rally our army. We will drag this mouse from his hole. I would never understand why they have to sound like that. But hey, sure, why not? So this is going to be the assault on the Rooster Roostershire Fortress. Yeah. Here we go. This is war. Not peace, bitch. Okay, should we climb up there and uh Oh yeah, I don't think I can climb through there, unfortunately. Hold on guys. Are you guys stuck? Let's Come on. Let's hit the bastards! That's two. I think it takes three or I mean five. That's three! That's four! And that's five! Before me. Okay, take six. Alright. Jesus Christ. What the hell is this door made out of? It's gotta be it. You guys do the rest. I am Eivor. And I will fuck this man up. Put them out. Yeah, the flames killed them. Good. Okay, I should probably go through here. How about you guys get some rashes? Hold on. There you go. You weaken them, I will kill them. Just like that, just to get some XP. <laughs> I don't know why I've got an arrow stuck on my butt. Run out of fucking arrows. Darn it. We have to do this. If not, our guys are never going to go. They're not going to be able to go through with the ram. So this has got to be done. Hold on. Oh my god, there's so many of them. What the fuck is this? We must find a way to lower that drone. I will see to it. Oh, that big guy's gone. You know what they say? The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Okay, so shoot links to lower the drawbridge. 
Oh, easy peasy. Oh, these assholes have. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, this has been quite the adventure here. Let me go up here. <laughs> You're all screwed now, bitch. All right, you. All right, you guys will do that, and I'll come around and try to do my part. Actually, you know what? I don't have a whole. I don't have a lot of rations. I might actually die here. Oh my god. I've got to be extremely careful here. There's a bunch of rations over there. Oof. More rations here. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Open the gate. Keep going inside. Okay, so here we have a find and capture Tedman. Let me get some more rations. This guy is well protected, dude. Where the hell is he? Good shit. Okay, so we got to keep going up. All right? Yeah, let's go up. This has been the craziest uh, assault we've done. As far as difficulty, this one's been a little bit more challenging. I'll also, the level here is like 130. It's a little bit higher than what we are, so it's fair. So that's the real Tedman. I'll cut you down, Dan. All right. All right, Deadman. Uh, Tedman. Whatever the fuck your name is. You died today, bitch. I am Eivor from Norway. And I do not play. <laughs> that was a little challenging. Not even gonna lie, that was that was a little, yeah, no. But we got the fortress. It seems like every mission or every area is you about two hours. To take this fortress, Dean. Alfred's army will smear your innards across the battlements. We are not here for stone and sand, Thane Tedmund. I shit on you, you and your toy gods. I will not bow to you like some puppets, Lord. I would rather die. How much will your king pay us to keep your sniveling head upon your neck? An army marches upon us from the south. A holy man from St. Hadrian's Priory, backed by a field. Ah, then, Abbot. Kinnebert? God be praised. If riches are all you care about, the church has it in abundance. If the terms are fair, you'll have your freedom. A chest or two of silver for a shit-stained sewer rat. Stay hmm. quiet. Or I'll not be able to stop my friend from slitting your throat. Ah. <laughs> Watch yourself, heathen. You oh. handle me too roughly. All right. The man behind the man. You will die for the indignities you've showered upon me, Dane. I mean no offense, Thane. You're only a hefty ransom to me. Nothing more. This is why you batter down my gates, kill me men for a purse of grubby coin. You. <laughs> I feel great. Enough. I'll return you to the Saxons. No. Oh. <clears throat> you there, heathens. Let this good man go or suffer an iron sickness. And what do you offer us in return? Your lives? We lost many good men storming this keep. It will not be in vain, Christ's slave. 
twenty chests of silver. Give them all they ask, Kinnebert. A hefty sum that will leave God's coffers hollow. I cannot give it up without some assurance. Tedmund, you extort me in return for my life? You were swiftly met, Abbot. Not long after these... these scallious worms took my fort. On the Lord's bidding, Tedmund, at prayer, a terrible vision befell me. A host of heathens, your life in danger. A coincidence I find rather... <coughs> rather ominous, Abbot. Do you... <coughs> God help you, man. Are you well? Air! I need... I need air! He's what? dead. The work of poison, no doubt. No, 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 no! Rouse the man! He cannot be dead! He must not be dead! Poison? How does the man die of poison in our arms? Many great kings and paranoids have carried poison in times of war, as an alternative to capture and ransom. A catastrophe! Alfred will choose another and... By the saints! Alfred! How will I explain this to the king? We followed this road to its end, Cunebert. You may not like where it led, but you owe us our half of the bargain. You shall have your paladin. I need a day. Return to my abbey tomorrow, and you shall... Oh, dear, oh dear. These delays are grinding at my bones. We should abandon Cunebert. Find full care ourselves. Peace, Eivor. Speak with Giedrich and relieve him of his oath. I'll meet you at Cunebert's abbey. Fought like beasts, escaped from your hell today, Gidrich. Your oath to me is fulfilled. It was good to stand shoulder to shoulder with you against the pox dogs of Wessex. May our friendship endure. This tangle briar of Christians and lords means nothing to me. I'm here for Sigurd. I understand. When you find him again, come see me. We'll feast and sing with mead and friendship to warm us. Agreed. Bloody welcome. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the map. Uh, okay, it's that way. I thought there was going to be a fast travel point there or something, but I guess not. I'm going to take my... I was going to say my horse, but my wolf. Go over there. Oh, nice. It's not deep, so we could just... Very nice. Very nice. All right, so I'm going to follow the road and we'll head over there. So that's crazy. It was supposed to be kind of like a setup, but then the guy was poisoned. Which is kind of crazy how the poison activated after the fact that he was captured. I don't know. That's weird how that works. I don't know if they had that technology back in the days, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, maybe they did. Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. It is too quiet here. Where are the brothers or the abbot's men? I would say well met, brother, but I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. Is something wrong? I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come and be on your guard. Hmm. Does this have the stench of betrayal to you? Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? Cunebert is a man who craves power and position. With Tetman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. Keep your eyes and blade sharp. Uh-oh. Okay. Your guests have arrived. Come. Supper's ready. 
The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Kinnebert's ale goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Mon Dieu. I never told him. Kill her, and we'll never find Sigurd. Sit, Ava. Eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I've killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock as we see fit, you and I. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders. Wasted flesh. But not Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods, they speak through him. You lured him in with that lie. Your words are bile and blight. You should have listened, Avar. I tried to tell you. The gods are real and their power is within our grasp. You will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. Wow. To old friends. This really is delicious, Kinnebert. Is it cloves I taste? Well, that concludes supper. Kill them. And bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. Wow. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another way out. Up through here. What a little biatch. Secret ale recipe. The secret ingredient of our famous ale's smooth flavor and tender aroma is using fresh uh, silphium in the mix. This yellow flower was something St. Adrian himself brought from his birthplace of uh, Synergia, Africa, <laughs> whatever. Along with this ancient recipe, it is also rumored to have some uh, contraceptive effects, but use this method as, at your own risk. Alright, so we can leave through here. <laughs> Alright, Basm. Let's go. So escape the ambush. Alright, just for shits and giggles. I'm gonna kill this asshole right here. Just because I can. Speak with Basm. Basm, where are you? Are you kidding me? Oh. Full Kale had slip that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did. And with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be. But it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd. My brother. Of course it is. Then come. Let us dive into the Maw of Death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. This will not be for nothing, Eivor. We will find Sigurd. It's not just him. I want Fulke to suffer. Oh, these guys are right there, bro. Oh my god. Alright, so are we traveling on the horse? Get on the horse, dude. There we go. Come on, get on the horse. Okay. I guess you'll go on foot. <laughs> yeah? Please tell me you're getting one of those horses. Oh my god, thank god. This land of summer, mists, and forests, dreaming darkly. I see secrets, and I want to know England. All of it. And yet it rounds on us at every turn, snarling like a cornered dog. I begin to despair of ever settling here. Perhaps the stars write your path? 
and you will never have a home here. Do you miss the land of your birth? I have long been away, but it is fiercely beautiful beneath the vanity, arrogance, and pettiness of men. I should like to see it. You could if you wish. My father was an architect, a builder of wonders. The great mosque of Samara, his masterpiece. Another man who played the caliphate's game better took the credit. He was exiled and died in poverty. Your faith sours. What of loyalty? Shared stories round the hearth. Warm nights, bodies, and the tender love of another. There are some who are worthy. A scant few that tower above the solid mass. Men and women of vision and valor. Sigurd is one such man. He is. Turke isn't wrong on that score. I fear for him, Basim. I cannot rest until he's safe. Nor will I, my friend. The practice of learning has waned considerably in England since the days of the Romans. What books they still have, they keep locked away in their churches, hidden from the eyes of common folk. Thralls and Geralds cannot read. What would be the point? They could learn. The church could teach them. So much of human history would be open to them. Aristotle, Pythagoras, Euclid, ancient knowledge lost to all but a few hard-headed men of the cloth. You have studied these works yourself? In my youth, I was consumed with a passion for understanding. I spent many hours a day in the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. A seminary? A great library, full of the greatest learning of mankind. For a boy seeking answers, it holds many riches. One day, I was sitting cross-legged, devouring a study by the great astronomer al Khwarizmi. With the swiftness belying his years, the papers were plucked from my grasp by the great man himself. His presence stole my voice. He was kind and open-hearted. He showed me such scientific wonders. What did you learn there? Calendars and calculations placing the sun, moon, and five planets. Hmm. Equations that crackle. I hate that when like these enemies interfere, like a cutscene or anything. Well, not necessarily a cutscene, but like a dialogue scene. Equations that crackled and sparkled with divine intelligence. I asked the great man, is this what it is to your God? You saw your God's hand in the rooms. I found wisdom, and I have been searching for more ever since. There is great vastness outside ourselves, Eivor. Most only notice a few grains of sand. Like Sigurd, see the endless flow of the hourglass. What you see in Sigurd, is this what Fulke sees as well? I believe it is. We will find no friends in Canterbury, so try not to draw attention. There's much here to admire, but it was built on God's gold while his people live in hovels. This land of summer, mists, and forests, dreaming darkly. I see secrets, and I want to know England, all of it. And yet it rounds on us at every turn, snarling like a cornered dog. This place swarms with his people. Sigurd will be well guarded. Motion and subtlety should be our path. Ready? Follow me. All right. Infiltrate the cathedral. This is going to be interesting. Why would Fulke give us her sanctum? She baits us. Cocksure and arrogant. And she cannot see failure in her path. Her fear of Where's this man going? Climb up here, dude. Oh. Oh, well, he obviously has a better way to get there. Whatever we find there, keep your head. You chastise me like a child, Basim. I guard you like a father. Nothing is served with your brutal end. You have much to do in this life. I know it. More riddles, Sly Tom. No riddles. I sense a greatness within you both. Your destiny is not to stain the stones of this godhouse with your blood. All right, thanks, man. Appreciate the nice words. You want to kiss me now or what? <laughs> so I want to say we're probably going to need a key. Hmm. 
infiltrate the cathedral or maybe we can go through here much better idea Oof. If she's still here, I will burn this Christ house to the ground. Guards, to arms! To arms! Yeah. Yeah. You saw that? She used his back to jump over him? Crazy. No. God, I wanted to put a trap on his body. Alright. Fuck off, dude. Some help there? Gotcha. Okay, so. Hmm. We gotta find a way down below. Ooh, here it is. The cathedral. This must be the way to Fulke's sanctum. Then let us go. Maybe it is here. Holy smokes. Kills in the place. Bitch. This is the place. It's riddled with the stench of her. Help me, Basim. Secret is within. So maybe this is the right place. Thank you. All right, here we go. Full K, I'm here. Face me. Have a care, Aiden. You will play into our hands. The plans to the great fortress in Wessex. Is there something here we can use to breach it? Strange writing. Saga stone encryptions reads as, uh, as read by Sigurd. What does it mean, these word tangles that speak of elves and demons? Okay. Sigurd. Oh my god. What the fuck? Is that where they kept them? running out of time what the fuck whose arm was that because that that can't be his anything else documents of interest to the hidden ones Hytham will surely want to look but for Sigurd Porchester is our only lead <sighs> if he is in Porchester Castle We'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. 
Basim. She severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? Physically, he can. Mentally, it's hard to say. So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tetman did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. We will not fail again, Eivor. I'll scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready. Wow, dude, they cut off his freaking arm. I wonder if we can go back down there. That would be interesting. Oh, it's not there anymore. Notes on Sigurd's progress. Isolation. I began with sensory depri uh, deprivation and no light, no touch, no warmth, no voices. To unlock the god within, the man called Sigurd must retreat into the shadows. His true self may emerge in time. Water and bread. This is all I have uh, allowed this beautiful man. He is something to behold. When he curses my name, I feel the power in his voice. When he struggles against his bonds, I hear the se a squeal of the leather straps and the grind of an iron on iron. He has fights in him, but to win this war against himself, he must relent. Sigurd does not yet accept that I have his best interest in mind, that I have taken him so that he may become his best self. He fights this idea, uh, balks at it, and yet I note a certain hesitation in his voice when he speaks. He talks as if a man being talked over, as if, as if voices interrupt the river of his thoughts is, is working. It is working. Blood flows slowly from the forearms. A few small cuts <laughs> produce a steady but manageable stream. Weeks upon weeks and very little progress. Sigurd has lost weight and physical strength, but his will is strong. And though he is beset by visions, he has not allowed them to take him over. It is time for a different approach. Sigurd withstands heat and pressure quite well. I have made no permanent alterations as yet, but uh, that may have to change. An insight. A phrase that screamed as the vice tightened around his head. I am the Lord of Justice. You will answer to me or die. This puts me on the better path. I know what I must do. I know what I must lose. All right, guys. So we're going to end it here. I think that this is the perfect spot to end this video. On the next episode, we'll go ahead and speak to Romvi and see what happens. It's been crazy. Okay, so... <laughs> The story is definitely getting crazy. I don't know what's going to be of Sigurd, but uh, I guess we'll find out in our next adventure. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys like to see more Assassin's Creed ASAP, drop it a like, and I will catch you.